Hi everybody! So I fell into that moleskin trap, as I know many of you did as well. Uh, this is the new moleskin expanded edition. So this notebook is basically the same as their regular typical notebooks that they've always had, except it's got about like double the pages. So there are 400 pages in this chunky thing. And and I got one and I think it's so bizarre that I have one of these. I'm planning to use this as my next journal. Uh, once I fill this one out, I'm actually way ahead of schedule uh, to finish out this uh, Leuchtturm uh, A6 in the hardcover. I'm sad because I messed up my sticker back here and how to pull it off. But anyway, uh, so once I'm done with this, I am planning to move into this Moleskine and I did get the uh, soft cover. Uh, after having the hard cover in this, I just really wanted to try the soft. It seems to be pretty well loved. And um, like in the community, people tend to love the uh, soft cover over the hard covers. So I thought I'd give it a try. And are we surprised? I got dot grid. So I, so okay. So first of all, I got the email which I probably need to unsubscribe from like all these places that I'm getting emails from. But so I got the email announcing this, that, you know, it's this new expanded edition. And, uh, I looked at it on the website, you know, I followed the link to it and thought, wow, that's so satisfyingly chunky. And I believe previously the only thick moleskin you could get like this was in their daily planner and it's lined paper so that's no no for me so so that was that and so I looked at it and I was like oh my gosh you know they have it in dot grid but you know I'm not gonna buy it off the moleskin website so anyway what ended up happening was I got on Amazon and then I saw it was like a, a few days later and I saw Amazon had these in stock and I thought, well, they're just not going to have the specific one that I want. So I wanted it black and I wanted the soft cover with the dot grid and they had two in stock. And so one of them is now mine. So uh, I did show this on Instagram. Uh, if you follow me there, I was like, why did I even do this? And I will tell you why it's so bizarre because uh, if you've been watching videos, uh, my videos for a little while, you'll probably know that at the end of 2018, I had decided that I was going to be moving into thick notebooks that I had been using inserts like smaller, uh, thinner traveler's notebook inserts all year. And, uh, I had decided at the end of the year that I was ready to move into thicker, you know, perfect bound notebooks. So I went absolutely nuts and got all of these thick notebooks. This is an Archer and Olive in the A5 size. And, uh, you know, these are some A6s. Uh, this one is a Stalogy. This one is a Nanami Cafe Note. And these are all like half used, so I'm still gonna be using them up. I got an A5 Stalogy and cut it down to standard. Uh, Midori MD notebook, A5 cut to standard, an Enigma notebook, uh, A5 cut to standard. And then I actually have an intact A5. Uh, this is a Elia note. So um, these are all of the thick perfect bound notebooks that I own. So it's not like I didn't have a lot of selection, you know, to choose from. It's not like I needed this. Uh, and just for reference, this is like a Chic Sparrow wide size. So, you know, it's a little bit narrower than an A5. Okay, so I I don't even prefer this paper. So the moleskins that I do have, I keep in here. This, this is a traveler's notebook that I use just uh, to keep track of medical stuff for someone in my family. And this is a wide size Chic Sparrow. And then I just have them full of these just regular moleskin notebooks. Um, it's, this one is just the grid. And th this is my only experience with moleskin. And I decided that I just really didn't prefer this paper. 
and when I used my first Loish term, I decided that I really do love this paper. So again, just something that I just really don't quite understand about, you know, how I ended up with this. Uh, but we're, I'm just, I'm just going to go for it. So I had decided, like I said, that I wanted to move into thick notebooks. So I, as I have mentioned, all of these are kind of used in some way. There's a few pages in each that have writing on them. I have started cutting out the pages that have been written on and I'm going to just kind of compile them together and archive them as, you know, part of the journaling I did this year. So these are all going to pretty much be empty once I get done uh, slicing those pages out. And the reason I am slicing these pages out and freeing up these books again is because I decided that I just really didn't like being in thick notebooks anymore. Um, I think it was just because I was getting bored that um, I wasn't able to switch out of them frequently. I mean, it was going to take me all year plus some to get through all of these notebooks. And I thought by having so many different ones that I was working out of that that would help alleviate the boredom, but it did not. That was a trial and major error. So uh, that's fine. I know that now. Um, so anyway, I decided after that failure that I would move back into thinner inserts again and kind of dabble in my traveler's notebooks. Um, I, the last video I did, which I'll link for you, it was uh, my setup of a personal sized Chic Sparrow traveler's notebook. And I had a really thin paper insert in there that I was uh, thinking I was going to be using as my next journal once I fill this one up. Apparently that's not the case anymore. So yeah, so Moleskine just like threw a wrench in my whole plan. Here I am with a thick notebook. And I mean, it's, it's really weird. I mean, I suppose the notebooks that I have aren't this size. Uh, I don't particularly love the A5 size. It's a bit too square for me. I like how this one is a bit narrow, but narrow size is like, I always talk about narrow size and how it's like my absolute favorite for, for writing. Um, so I don't know. So I'm thinking it's just possibly this, uh, elastic closure. Uh, there's something really oddly satisfying about having this closure because most of the notebooks that I use get fairly chunked up and I just like being able to just have the naked notebook be able to contain the mass that's inside it. And I think it's coming from the fact that I'm really enjoying this one that I'm in. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's not crazy, but it's got some chunk in there. I, I chunk my journal up by just adding lots of tip ins and stickers and washi tapes and stuff like that. I don't watercolor. So I'm not getting like super warped, extra thickened up pages. Um, and I like this kind of thickness and I like how this band is holding it all together. You know, since I've been using this, I have not put it in any kind of leather cover because I'm just enjoying it this way. So I suppose that has led me to this and, um, it's just so weird because why didn't I just get like a regular moleskin, you know, if I like the band and everything. So, so sorry if you came here for any kind of explanation as to why this is like the winner over any other journals that I have, but, um, I, I really don't have much insight into that. All I know is that I'm just really drawn to this and I'm just ready to dive into it. And I don't know how that boredom aspect is going to play into this, but I did a, like some basic calculation and figured that if I use up maybe like three pages a day that I would be able to use this up in about four and a half months. And like six months is my limit. Like I don't want to be in a notebook for more than six months. So, um, the less time, the better, basically. So four and a half months sounded pretty good. And I, I'm i getting better at knowing how to fill up pages. So if you don't know, I 
you know, the reason I was using all of these is because I was like separating out each different type of journaling. So I had a daily journal where I just recounted events of the day. I had a brainstorming journal. I had a thought journal. I mean, I, I separated everything. So what I had started doing in this one is I combine everything. Oh, and I also have a media journal. So anytime I watch like a movie or uh, read a book, an article or whatever, and I wanna just write a summary about it or just like thoughts about it, uh, I had a separate notebook for that as well. And I think it was actually, it was actually in this, I was doing it in this A6 Stalogy. So I've combined everything I can into this notebook. And that has allowed me to take up like lots of pages in a day. Um, it's, it, it's basically not that difficult. So I'm, I've been wrapping my mind around doing that and I'm getting better and better at it. So actually filling up three pages or so in here is actually not that hard. It, it won't be like this crazy task that I'm putting on myself. Um, because I've actually even started, um, the way that I'm doing our finances now, I'm really like trying to pay down our mortgage and stuff like that. I'm, uh, I write down like budgets and, uh, I just jot down notes about like where the money is spent just to kind of track things and keep things in order. Um, and doing that can like easily take up a whole page in here. So, so having this type of Omni journal, uh, I feel like the amount of pages in here is, is really going to be good for that. And this won't be something that's going to take me like a year plus to fill up. And also because I've been doing my self care in this, um, I'll link the video below if you want to know all the details about this, but the way that I write in here, you know, I write kind of really big with some kind of fancy script and stuff like that. I've kind of incorporated like titles and headers and things like this um, in my journaling as well. And it helps make it like pretty and interesting, but also it helps take up space too. So this is something that I've uh, definitely started incorporating. Um, you know, so I'll, I'll be doing that in here. And one of the things I think maybe it's because uh, one of the reasons I'm attracted to this is because it just feels like a journal that I can beat up. And um, this thing is totally going to get beat up as well because this cover makes me a little bit nervous. I love how pliable it is, but I'm just like, this is going to look so tattered in no time. But I suppose I'll be updating about that. But so it feels like a journal that can be beat up. If it gets all bent and warped, I'm kind of like excited about that. And because this paper isn't like top of the line, um, well, top of the line for me is like Tomoe River paper. Uh, because it isn't that kind of paper, I feel like, I don't know, I just, I feel more comfortable with it. Like I don't have to, you know, I don't know, make sure my writing is pretty or anything like that. I almost feel like when I'm writing in, on Tomoe River paper, if I'm being messy about it, I'm sort of just like wasting the beauty of the paper, which is absolutely ridiculous. Like, you know, write what you want to write, how you want to write on your Tomoe River paper. But for some reason, this feels a little more uh, comforting to me in that regard. And I like, I'm, I'm just enjoying the thickness a little bit more. Um, you know, the 52 GSM uh, TRP is really popular and I could have sworn for the longest time, and I did, that it was my favorite paper. Uh, I just love the thinness and the crinkliness of it. But now I just find myself gravitating more towards uh, just thicker paper with just a little bit more heft to it. And I think it's because I really, really love the MD paper. Um, I would call this my favorite paper right now. And so, you know, anything with these kind of qualities is kind of what I'm going for. So this reminds me of it. And what's funny is this Enigma notebook, it has 68 GSM TRP in it, which, you know, is a heftier paper, but I don't know. It didn't make the cut. I'm just not into that. So whatever. Uh, so anyway, 
Uh, what I'm planning on doing is I really have been loving keeping this notebook naked like this. Uh, I don't know what it is. I'm just really loving it for some reason. So I'm going to keep this just like this. I'm not going to get any new leather cover or anything for it. Um, I'm just going to enjoy it this way. And what I'm planning on doing, because I don't even think I want the pen on it like this. I'm just going to have a traveler's notebook, probably that personal size that I uh, showed in my last video, as just like a companion piece to it. So that one's just going to hold all of the writing utensils and um, stickers, ephemera, all the stuff I had shown just to use for this. So I'm going to use that traveler's notebook to carry all the things that I need to use for when I'm in here. And it'll just be, like I said, a companion piece to this. And, you know, I usually always have a pen in my purse anyway. So if for some reason I'm taking this on the go, then I will just throw this in my bag and I will just have my pen already in there and I will just write whatever I want on the go and that'll be that. And maybe I will bring that companion traveler's notebook um, if I feel so inclined, but you know, I'm allowing myself to work in this without, you know, that companion TN. So anyway, all this to say, this will be my next journal and I don't know why I'm really attracted to it, but those are my best guesses. And if you got caught by this moleskin trap, let me know as well. I know there's like a whole bunch of people that are like trying to keep themselves from getting this. But uh, all I can say is uh, join me and let's journal together in this thing because I'm the enabler queen and I uh, will take that title. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again soon. Oh, and I'm, I'm that next video, I'm probably going to do the uh, like tutorial for that uh, uh, folder insert. Um, so that will be the next video that I come out with this week. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.